What's going on guys? We are back on the test server and we are bringing you guys a highly, highly requested testing video here today. We are going to see if we can answer the question on which is actually a better skill to have on your units slash officers firepower or damage. We're going to go through a handful of different tests here. We are going to do some with different units and different unit types. So we are going to make this as clean of a test as we possibly can. Also, with that being said, we are on the test server. So all of the variables that are in our control are as perfect as they can possibly be. Same tech, same alliance buffs, same VIP level, same unit star levels, everything like that is perfect across the board. Also, in past videos, I've seen some of you guys leave comments on the video, and you are exactly right, but I just want to clear the air. When I do do testing videos, I do do multiple trials of each one of these tests. I don't just do a one and done and call it good. There are a lot of variables in play, of course, so just know that there are multiple tests ran on the back end, but in order to keep the video enjoyable and not three hours long, I trim it down and just show one video from each of the tests. So if you guys are enjoying videos like this and want to see more testing videos, unit testing, officer testings, things like that, drop a like on the video, hit a, hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel out tremendously. And if you guys have access to Discord and are not already in our community Discord server, the link to that is going to be in the description of the video below. We have now passed a thousand members in our community Discord server. So we are growing, we are thriving, we are having a ton of fun, and we would love to have you guys come be a part of that with us. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the testing. All right, guys, welcome back. So let's give a quick overview here. And then once we actually get the testings going, I am going to shut off my face cam. So that way I am not in, in the picture at all. I'm not obstructing any of the battle reports or any of the combat or anything like that. So we are going to do three different testings here. We are going to test with the helicopter, with the main battle tank, and with the artillery units. So we are going to do a broad stroke of testing here. Again, this is as close to as perfect as possible. If you guys have any suggestions for me uh, to make testing videos better in the future, of course, let me know in the comments below. But I wanted to get it as close to perfect as I possibly could for you guys with all of the controllables that I have in my uh, arsenal, if you will. So for the first round of testing, both helicopters are going to be the Liberty helicopter, and they are both going to have the same officers in the same order. They are going to have Golden Eagle in the leader spot and Valkyrie in the secondary spot. On our first helicopter, the one skill that is going to be taught is going to be taught to Golden Eagle, who is the lead officer, and it is going to be a increases the firepower of this officer's troop by 20%. The one skill that is going to be taught on the second unit is going to be uh, Thorn Countess's increases damage of this officer by 20%. So with that being said, we have made it, like I said, as clean and as close to perfect as we can get. Same officer, same unit, and both skills are the, a similar in buff in terms of one's going to get 20% for the firepower, one's going to get 20% for the damage, and we are going to do different runs. We are going to have in the first round of testing here, the firepower unit is going to attack the damage unit, and then for round two, the damage unit is going to attack the firepower unit. We are going to see if it changes the outcome and how drastically it does change the outcome, if at all, and we are going to try to draw a conclusion from there. With that being said, let's go ahead and let the testing begin. All right, guys, our first battle report has generated here, and this was round one of testing, and the firepower unit attacked or initiated the attack against the damage unit. The attack lasted 26 seconds. You guys can see we got 60 kills, lost all 102, and we have dealt 28.7 uh, million unit damage. Officer damage was 21.2 million. The damage suffered was 78.6 million. So this is the report from round one. Round two is going to be the same unit, same officer pairing, except this round two, the damage unit is going to initiate the attack. So let's see if the outcome changes. All right, guys, we are trained up and back for round two of testing. This time we are going to start the attack, which with the unit that has the damage skill on it and see if it changes the outcome at all here.
All right, guys, the second battle report has generated here. Some similarities between the two reports and then some differences. So pretty much across the board, same amount of kills, same amount of losses, both sides. However, when we initiated the attack on the second run with the damage skill, the attack lasted 41 seconds compared to when we started it with the firepower skill, which lasted 26. And then you guys can see the unit damage dealt was 43.2 million, officer damage dealt was 35.3 million, and then damage suffered was 52.1 million. So we are going to train up some MBTs now, and we are going to redo this and see if the outcome changes at all, and if so, how much. All right, guys, we've got our main battle tanks trained up and squared off. We are ready for phase two of the testing, which, like I said, is going to be the main battle tanks. Both are Vanguard. Both have the exact same officer pairings as the helicopters. The reason I kept them the same, even though that Valkyrie is more geared towards a being a helicopter officer, I wanted to keep them the same, even though they are different unit types. So that way, the skill sets of said officers are the same because that can impact uh, the actual outcome. So I wanted to keep everything as close to the exact same as we possibly could. So for round one, we are going to have the firepower skill initiate the attack. The battle report has generated and the uh, damage skill actually took the win on that one, even though the firepower was the one who initiated the attack. The attack lasted for 58 seconds, got 102 kills, took 60 losses. Unit damage was 47 million. Officer damage dealt was 48.1 million. And then damage suffered was 63.6 million. So we are going to get trained back up here for round two and we are going to initiate the attack this time with damage and see if the outcome is still the same and if damage wins or if it flips and it goes to the firepower this time. So we will figure that out here in just a second. We are all trained up, units are squared off and we are going to be initiating the attack with the damage skill this time and we are going to see if it changes the outcome. All right, the battle report from our test has generated here, and you guys can see that we got 102 kills, suffered 72 losses. The attack took one minute and six seconds. You guys can see unit damage dealt was 42.3 million. Officer damage dealt was 52.8 million, and then damage suffered was 72.2 million, and this was when the damage skill initiated the attack against the firepower skill. So in the MBT testing, the damage skill on both trials took the win. We are now going to get our artillery trained up, get our officer set, and we are going to be back once that is done, and we are going to explain the layout of the artillery testing. All right, guys, we are all trained up, and we are ready for phase three, which is going to be the artillery testing. We are going to use probably the most widely used officer pairing combination for open field artillery attacking unit officer combination on the artillery. It is going to be Argent Flame in the lead spot with Antonina in the secondary spot. For round one, we have the firepower skill taught to Argent Flame. And then for round two, we are going to have the damage skill taught to Argent Flame. And we are going to see the outcome of both of those. On the unit we will be attacking, we are going to be attacking the beefiest unit we can make, which is going to be the Vanguard Super Heavy. And it is going to be paired with probably the most widely used officer combination in the game for super heavies or MBTs uh, for survivability. And that is going to be Thorn Countess in the lead officer spot with Steel Fighter in the secondary spot. And neither of those officers have any skills learned to them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the testing.
All right, guys, the first artillery battle report has generated here. As you guys can see, we're not going to suffer any losses or anything like that because we are out of range of the actual super heavy. Uh, but the attack did last 58 seconds. You guys can see uh, we dealt 17.4 million unit damage, 91.2 million officer damage dealt. So we are going to compare this report with the next report that is going to be the damage skill that is learned, and we are going to see what the differences are between the two reports. And then we are going to do after this next round against the Super Heavy, we are going to do one more round of artillery testing, and it is going to be artillery versus artillery. We're going to let our Super Heavy get trained back up, and we will be back for round two. All right, guys, we are all trained back up. The Super Heavy is ready to go, and everything is the same, except we have made sure we swap the skills on the artillery. We are now going to do the attack with the damage skill on it. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and see what the outcome is. All right, guys, our next battle report has generated here, and there was a pretty decent amount of time, uh, time difference, I should say, between the first attack with the firepower skill and the second attack with the damage skill. The first attack with the firepower skill was 58 seconds long. The second attack with the damage skill was 50 seconds long. Let's take a look at unit damage dealt was 29.3 million compared to 17.4 million. The officer damage dealt was 79.4 million compared to 91.2 million. And of course, no damage suffered on either one. So the damage, uh, the damage report actually had a faster kill time and the firepower report had more officer damage dealt. So these are the reports of both. We are going to get trained back up and we are going to do the testing with artillery versus artillery. And we are going to see what the outcome is. All right, guys, we are all trained up. We have two Liberty Artilleries here. Both are going to have Argent Flame in the lead spot with Antonina Shevchenko in the secondary spot. One officer has the firepower skill tied to it. One has the damage skill tied to it. And we are going to initiate for round one. The firepower skill is going to initiate the attack. And then for round two, the damage skill, just like the previous testing. So we are going to get it fired off here and we're going to see what the outcome is. Our first artillery versus artillery battle report has generated. It lasted 18 seconds. We got 60 kills, took 100 losses. You guys can see unit damage dealt was 10.3 million. Officer damage dealt was 11.4 million. And the damage suffered was 31.8 million. Again, this was the attack with the firepower skill initiating the attack. Artillery is a little different because it is quite a bit weaker than the other units. But we are going to get trained to back up here and we are going to see how big of a difference, if any at all, it is once the damage skill actually initiates the attack. We've got all of our artillery units trained back up, and this time we are going to be initiating the attack with the damage skilled unit. So we are going to see how that goes. Then we are going to compare both battle reports from the artillery versus artillery uh, face-off, and we are going to see exactly what the differences are. Well, I hope you guys didn't blink because that was insanely fast, even though the report doesn't seem to display that. Not sure if it's a bug or something along the lines, but we're going to talk about that in a minute. But as you guys saw on the video, that was an insanely fast trade of kills there. Um, we got all 100 kills, only suffered eight losses. Uh, unit damage dealt was 14.1 million. Officer damage dealt was 17.6 million. And then damage suffered was 8.15 million. Again, this is when the damage skilled unit actually initiated the attack. Over here for the firepower skill, it shows 18 seconds versus 20. But the damage one, this one that was 20, was uh, substantially faster. So not really sure why the report actually shows it to be slower. Um, and you guys can also tell when we use the firepower skill, not only was it longer, but we weren't able to get nearly as many kills. Um, so you guys can see in terms of actual unit damage, the damage uh, 
stat here with the actual damage skill was 14.1 compared to the firepower's 10.3 million. The officer damage dealt was 17.6 million compared to the 11.4 million with the firepower. So pretty clear cut answer there on the damage first firepower for the artillery. So let's go ahead and jump out of here, out of these battle reports, and let's talk about the actual conclusion and the roundup of this whole testing. All right, guys, let's go ahead and wrap this up and let's talk about the results, the outcome, and then ultimately what is probably the better choice, firepower or damage. So I've got over here to the side, I've got my notes talking about and recording all of the details within the testing here. So let's take a look at these and see what the outcome actually was. So for round one of testing, which was the helicopter versus helicopter, the, when the firepower skill initiated, it won. When the damage skill initiated, it won. But for full transparency, in other testings that I've done that were actually not filmed more times than not, even when the firepower skill initiated the attack with the helicopter specifically, the damage skill still won. So for the most part, when it comes to helicopters, the damage skill, whether starting or actually being um, attacked, it won most of the time, I would say about 95% of the time, whether it was attacking or getting attacked, the helicopter with the damage skill actually was the winner. In regards to the main battle tank, that was a pretty straight cut and dry, whether it was starting the attack or getting attacked, the unit with the damage skill on it won hands down every single time. So the firepower one was really a non-factor in regards to the main battle tank testing. In regards to the artillery testing, when it went up against the super heavy, the damage skill actually won over the firepower skill when attacking a tank unit like the super heavy. And then for artillery versus artillery, the initiating attack for the firepower actually won. However, when the damage skill started the attack, the attack was substantially faster. Artillery units versus artillery units is a little bit tougher because they are such weak units they do die quite a bit quicker but uh, from the video you guys saw here that it was just really night and day how much faster the damage uh, the the unit with the damage skill killed the unit with the firepower skill versus when the firepower skill actually initiated the attack so and again you guys saw the actual numbers on the battle report there too for the artillery and all of the numbers when the actual damage skill initiated the attack were way way up compared to the firepower skill so to kind of cap this off, if you guys are having to make that decision on what skill do I use here, what skill do I use there for your officer skill learning system, I would definitely suggest if you guys have the ability to use the damage skill, use the damage skill because it doesn't seem to matter if it's a helicopter, main battle, tank, artillery, whatever the case may be, damage pretty much wins out 95 or 95% or greater pretty much every time. So hopefully that helps you guys. I know this has been a highly, highly requested video. So hopefully this does address some of those questions for you guys. If you guys did find value in this video and do want to see more in-depth testing videos like this, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Both of those things help the channel out tremendously. And again, if you guys have access to Discord and are not already in our community Discord server, the link to that is going to be in the description of the video below. Click on that link. It'll take you right into the community server. Absolutely, everybody is welcome to come be a part of it. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me for this video, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.